Hi, in this video I will explain associative array in TCL. A difference between general array and associative array is in general array uh, we use integer as a index but in associative array instead of index strings are used. So uh, I am uh, taking one example here. Let's say I want to store salary of a person. And that person is Mac. So if you can see here, uh, if we are using an array where we can use string, in that case, uh, there is no need to remember what's the index number for that person. We can directly write name of that person and it will fetch us salary of Mac. So in TCL, in TCL, it will uh, allow us to create array. Uh, where we can use a string as an index. So let me create uh, add one more element. Now how to print value of uh, any element in this array? PUTS command is used and dollar salary max. So this command will simply print value of this element so we will run it so if you can see uh, it's printing 20,000 so the simplicity with, uh, with associative array is that it's very easy to use no need to remember any index number directly string can be used now I will show you if we are having a number of element in an array let's say I'm having one more element Johnny and we don't know how many elements are stored in this array so in that case we can use a for each loop and this uh, so what we need to know we need to know all the index value like Mac John Johnny and if we don't know in advance how many index value are there and what are those value in that case there is a command that command is array names salary so what this command will do, this command will return all the index value like Mac, John, Johnny. And when we write a command in bracket, that command will be replaced by its output. So here we are writing a loop and inside this loop what will print? We will print value of A. So dollar $A, it will, uh, it will print actually index value. So and that's an index value will be Mac John Johnny, and then we want to print salary. So we want to see what is the output of this program. So we will run this command again. So if you can see here, these are the value, and this is the value stored in the array. So Mac Johnny John, this is index value while this uh, twenty thousand fifty thousand. This is the value of array item so in this way you can use associative array thank you very much for watching